What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com, the 100 Toes to Bar Challenge. Have you heard of it? If you haven't, that's alright. I didn't either until someone brought up to me and asked me, Jeff, will you be competing and trying to complete the 100 Toes to Bar Challenge? Now as a strength coach, I pretty much had a good guess of what that would be. It was a completing 100 Toes to Bar. However, what I wasn't aware of was the rules that you're allowed to use to complete these 100 repetitions because I have to tell you, even for somebody like me, the 100 toes to bar done the way they're supposed to is not going to be something that somebody can do in one single session unbroken. Well, I had to go look it up, and when I did, I was actually disappointed in what I saw. I'm actually going to show you some footage here of me demonstrating or recreating as best I can because I really can't even make my body do some of the things the guys that were doing this were doing. Here's me trying to do a toes to bar. Now, keep in mind, I'm not working my abs here guys. I'm not working them at all. What I'm doing is just worrying about getting my toes up to the bar in any which way I can. As a matter of fact, as you'll see me do here, I'm even allowed in this challenge to kick my feet up separately. Get the left one up, then the right one up, as long as they both hit the bar in the same single repetition. The argument here is that it's all about efficiency. And that's all we need to do is train to be efficient. Guys, not in my world. Not the guys that are watching this video, I hope. When you're training, you're training for an adaptation. You're training to get bigger or stronger or faster or to become some better version of yourself by doing your exercise. Training for efficiency will come when you get stronger at doing the exercises the right way and doing the exercises to stress the muscles that are supposed to be worked in the exercise. In that demonstration, I look like a flailing fish and I can tell you, my abs were never worked on a single repetition. Trying to cheat your way through repetitions to complete a challenge is no challenge. So trying to work your hip flexors on overdrive and figuring out ways that you can kip your way to a, to a toes to bar completed rep is not a challenge, not in my book. If you want to start training like an athlete, guys, here's a better challenge for you. Why don't you try to complete as many toes to bar as you can by keeping your body absolutely 100% still in between repetitions. I'm demonstrating here for you guys exactly what I want you to do. Make sure you're not swinging at the bottom of a rep. Why? Because it requires even more core stabilization. Not just to get yourself up to the bar, you're going to be working your abs that way, especially if you're worrying about getting your pelvis tilted upwards. I talked about that before. Ab activation is going to require a flexed spine. We're going to make sure that we're flexing our spine by getting our pelvis into a posterior tilt on every single one of our toes to bar. But then we also want to have dynamic stabilization every single time we get to the bottom of a rep because it's far too easy to allow our bodies to swing. Try to do as many toes to bar of that version as you can. Post your number below. Let me know how many you can do. You might be limited by your grip strength. If that's the case, guess what? We need to work on our grip strength a little bit too. But if you find that it's your abs that are failing, work on the toes to bar, work on getting your body to use your abs to get up there instead of swinging momentum and efficiency. It's not always what you're looking for, guys. Become efficient when you come become better at what you're supposed to be doing. If you want to start training like an athlete, then guys, head to athletex.com right now. Grab our 90-day training program. Work the muscles the way you're supposed to. Start seeing better and faster results. If you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and a thumbs up below. In the meantime, if you do take part in our Toast to Bar Challenge, let me know how many you were able to get. Post your number down below. All right, guys, we'll be back here again in just a couple days.